Any chance to be able to just give a quick explanation of what we've got going on here? You know, levers yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. where you control and that sort yeah, of yeah. thing. So basically this box um, controls the area shown on the, on the, on the diagram. Um, so we, we control the section down to Norton Fitzwarren in the up direction, which also got the connection to the, uh, the main line at that end. And they're all colour light. Colour uh, lights are on in that section, yes. Two aspect signalling. Pardon? Two aspect uh, colour lights. That's right, yeah. yeah. And then all then it's all um, semaphore signalling right through. And then in the down direction we work to Crocom Heathfield. Okay. Um, that box also has the uh, ability to uh, we, we can switch that out when when not required and uh, then we work the section to Willerton then, hence why there's two tokens machines for the down direction at that end. Uh, one for Crocom, which is the yellow tokens, and the blue tokens are the ones for Willerton. Uh, and then there's um, the green tokens at that end for the, the Norton Fitzwarren section. Uh, obviously all the, all the signals are numbered, um, and those numbers on the diagram Correspond with the the lever lead numbers on the on the red levers. The red levers work signals. Uh, the black levers uh, they work with points, and the blue levers they they lock the points in position. They're the facing point locks, so to stop the uh, the point blades moving underneath underneath the train. There's also one odd. Uh, black and blue lever number 24 that's also for points but that's um, motor electric motor operated um, so that's on an electric switch so that lever does both functions it moves the point blades plus plus locks it all in one one move and the white levers are spare levers and obviously there is various uh, instruments on the block shelf um, the, these are known as um, repeaters, so that's a repeater for signal number 33, so that's a signal that you can't actually see from the box, so that um, in dial will show, when the signal is off it will show off, so when you pull the lever, number 33, if the signal moves as it should, it will show that it's off there, so that, that's, that's uh, and that, those are for signals that you know are not visible from the box. And then you've got the block bells. Um, this one's for Crocombe Heathfield, and that one for Willerton. So then, when you're um, corresponding with the uh, with the signalman at that box, you know you, we work through bell codes to describe the type of train and uh, when it uh, enters a section or leaves a section. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Excellent. Thank you very much. And the that's most important moment. thing there in the corner of the teas and coffees. Yeah, that's the most important thing, the yeah. tea, isn't it? <laughs> My cup's a bit black. Uh, yeah, railway runs on tea. <laughs>
Hello, Sigmund. Hello. Uh, so, what have we got here then? Oh, lovely. So, what we have here, as you just see, Dan says, is Croker Heathfield Station with the signal box. Um, passing loop. Uh, controls two sections, or in conjunction with the other signal box at the other end of the section, controls two sections. So, to the south is Bishop's Gideon at the end of the line. And to the northwest ish is Willerton, which is the next in the box down the line. And in conjunction, we uh, through the bell codes, which you'll probably hear in a minute because I'm expecting one. Um, it's how we talk to each other. We've got phones for emergencies or messages, but for describing trains to each other, we use the bell codes and token machine. Um, on the lever frame, you see we've got different colour levers, blue, black and red. There are two little levers there that are white, uh, that are red and, uh, sorry, blue and brown. I will explain about those in a bit because they're slightly different, they don't really control trains, it's for something else. So red levers are for the signals. This red levers with the white bands are the, what we call the starting signals. And they are and they're only operated with the token out of the machine which i will show you in a sec black levers are to move the points at each end of the loop and the blue levers secure the points because if you're running a passenger train you can't run a passenger train over a set of points unless they're locked for safety makes sense um, this shelf here is what we call the block shelf different buttons so all the numbered buttons uh, correspond with the lever so you have to push push the button to release the lever out of the frame otherwise it, it, it just won't come out uh, which way is that set to so number three even if I, if I, by pushing it it releases it to pull the signal off but without pushing it, it it stopped in the frame same with the points to reverse the points it's locked until you push the button and you'll hear a click and then that releases the lever to freely move uh, signal repeaters so for number four which is the signal this side but for that direction this time of the year trees and leaves so you pull the signal so on is danger off is green in, in uh, normal speak so as long as, as long as you've shown an off indication it's showing the right aspect for the driver these are lamps because all of our signals on the railway are electronically lit now as opposed to paraffin so if a bulb goes in one we've got a fair idea of where to look first they, they've got numbers on which correspond to the signal the signals on the numbers um, this is to do with the token machine, which I'll explain through in a minute. So it's locked at the moment, which means I can't get a token out. When it goes to free, I can get the token out and release the, the specific signal for that section. So the up, up line is the loop. So if that was set to free, I could pull signal number five and that would let the train go to Bishop's Lydia. That's the, uh, that's the bow for the, uh, for the lamps out. This is the bell for Willerton, which sounds like this. That one you just heard is the one for Bishop's Lydiard, as you could hear, they were separate dings, so you know who's talking to you. Right, so let's explain there what's happened there with the bells. So,
Right, so what you heard there was, first of all, we heard the bell ring once, which was, are you there, call attention. I replied with one. He then sent me two pause one, which is train out of section. He then immediately offered me another train, which I could have sent because the route was set and locked. So we went three, pause one. I repeated it, but held the one in to allow him to release a token that he's the driver. The three one on this railway is a stopping passenger train that stops at every station. There are different codes for a four is a is a limited stop train or express. A two three is a light engine. So on and so forth. The, the one you don't want to hear as a signal one is six without the call attention. Because if six is a obstruction danger and you've got to stop everything as quick as possible. Which is what the phones come in useful because we have the guards phone numbers. So we can phone the guards and they can stop the train. Particularly if there's bridge strokes or anything like that. <laughs> um, back to the levers. I'll explain about these blue and brown ones. This signal box is unique on this railway because the railway has the, the option of still running without the signal box being open. So we can switch this box out and all the trains run up and down the main line basically, the up, what we call the up and down main in both directions. For that to happen, we have to speak to Willerton and Bishop Lydiard, and they hold in their token machines, which are releases that. So I push that button, which pulls that lever out, which is the uh, interlocking release lever. Then I can pull signals 2, 4, 24 and 28. So it looks like there's trains going in both directions. It's, it's funny looking when you see it. And then after I pulled the signals, you pull this lever, which is the, out, the, the switching out lever, which basically disconnects them to token machines. Because in Bishop Studio and Willerton, they have another token machine for what we call the long section. So their tokens will say Willerton to Bishop Studio. And then they'll go through their testing sequence of 16 bells taking a token out. So on a quiet timetable, we'd have to be here. That was going to be the question I was going to ask you, you know. I mean, we are here because it keeps our competency up. Mm -hmm. Because if we don't have a term within six months, we run out of competency, so we have to be down again. So most of us come here anyway during the season just to, for something to do. <laughs> and we enjoy it, obviously. So that's really about it for the levers. I'll uh, take you over the token machines. So here we've got two different token machines. I won't be able to get one out, but I'll be able to hold one up. So the yellow ones are for Crookham to Bishop's Lydiard, which is the machine you've just heard. And on this side, we've got the red tokens, which are for Willerton to Crookham, which you'll probably just about hear in a second. Even if the signals are green, all the locomotive crews on the rally know they're not allowed to go anywhere until they have a token in their possession because it's their safety that they know there's nothing coming in the opposite direction because once there's a token out of the machine no matter what I do now I could phone him up and ask for a token out and he could hold his button in the machines talk to each other electronically so they go out of phase but they go out of phase so no matter what happens I cannot take a token out and send the train towards that one that's coming up it's a system that's been in on the main line since 18 something and it's still used in Cornwall today at least in Cornwall I know of they've got machines like this and but I believe I believe the Nuki branch have tokens still and I'm pretty sure St Ives does as well Falmouth doesn't but that's just one train work uh, one train working but with a passing loop somewhere I know that because I've been I've been lucky enough to get into your signal box and look at the diagram. So, yeah. um, so that's a token. So yeah, all the drivers know they can't go anywhere without a token. Um, that's about it, really. I think I've forgotten anything. Apart from yeah, the other important thing, of course, is the book. <laughs> So 
yeah, here we've got the train register. So everything that happens, so we offered offers offers you a train at a time, train intersection. We have approach treadles here that sound roughly three minutes before the train arrives. Train out of section, train arrived, train departed, and then for the advanced section, so in this case for the Willerton section, time we offered it, time it entered, time it left the section. And it's the same that side but for Bishop's Idiot. So this side would be from Willerton and that's to Bishop's Lydiard. And that's just our working timetable for today. Good stuff. All right. Yeah, brilliant. Thanks ever so much for the explanation. That's all right. I don't think I've forgotten anything. Have you got any questions? Have no, you I think questions? covered it all, to be honest with you. <laughs> the things that we're gonna, gonna, going to ask you, you I've explained it. So. Good, good. Excellent. I was just hoping that this one uh, had come online from Lydia before I finished the video off. But oh, which was he off? Let's have a look. So I could see you pulling the levers. Uh, he's not off till 20 past. I, I, uh, me personally, I don't pull the levers until the treadle goes off anyway. So. That's it. <laughs> Due to the fact that when you guys are around video and you see the you see the signals drop, you think, "Oh, the train's coming!" But mm. it's ten minutes away, and you think, "Wow, that's a bit unfair for using ten minutes of film." <laughs> so that's Hope, Crocombe Heathfield signal box, folks.